Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a radical equation, a quick and easy radical. So we have x times the square root of x equals square root of x to the power x. And we're going to be solving for x. First of all, notice that x needs to be greater than 0 in order for this to be defined for real numbers because we're looking for real solutions. If you're looking for complex solutions, it's a different idea. But I'm looking for real solutions here, so I want x to be greater than 0. Why not x equals 0? Because that gives us 0 to the power 0, which is very, very problematic. So we're going to try to avoid that. So if x is positive, then we're going to be looking for positive solutions. Let's go ahead and simplify both sides as much as we can. First of all, I can write the square root of x as x to the power 1 half. And the same thing here. And then I'm multiplying x, which is x to the first power, by x to the power 1 half. When you multiply two powers with the same base, you add the exponents. So let's go ahead and add those exponents. That gives us x to the power 3 halves. And on the right-hand side, we have the power of a power, which can be written as the product of exponents. So we can write this as x to the power x over 2. Okay, great. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Well, from here, we can basically set the exponents equal to each other and find a possible solution. And let's forget about the bases for now. Since the bases are equal, the exponents also have to be equal. From here, we get that x over 2 equals 3 halves. And that just means that x is equal to 3. So x equals 3 must be a valid solution. We're going to check that. Don't worry. But let's go ahead and uh, see if there is any other solutions. Well, if you have x in the base, obviously we have to consider the case where x might be 1 or negative 1, right? x equals 0 is definitely not possible. x equals negative 1 is also not possible because at the beginning, we remember, we said that x must be greater than 0. So the only thing we need to check is x equals 1. Is x equals 1 a possible solution? Let's go ahead and check it out. If you replace x with 1, you get 1 equals 1. Therefore, x equals 1 is also a valid solution. That basically gives us two solutions. And as you know, we found the one by checking. It works, so it, it's good. Let's go ahead and check out 3. What happens if x is equal to 3? We get something like this. If x is equal to 3, then we get 3 root 3 equals root 3 to the power 3. And as you know, this is true because if you take root 3 and cube it, you basically get root 3 times root 3 times root 3. And root 3 times root 3 is equal to 3. Therefore, the answer becomes 3 root 3. So x equals 3 definitely works. x equals 1 also works. All right. So are there any other solutions? There are no other real solutions because these are the only ones we could find. Like I said earlier, x equals negative 1 does not work. And this is kind of like a general rule. If you cube any radical, you're going to get the same number. So if you are cubing square root of a, this might be a helpful piece of information it's always going to give you a root a, if a is, of course, uh, greater than or equal to zero in order for this to be defined. Therefore, we end up with two solutions, and this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.